what's up guys it's baby d welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing my grilled tilapia recipe this recipe works for any and all types of fish of preference but today we're going to be using tilapia if you're like me a seafood fan and a grilled fish lover but you don't always have time to roast on a charcoal grill then this recipe is for you you get to enjoy grilled fish minus all the smoke and struggling this recipe has a unique taste, flavor, and a stunning aroma. As you can see, the fish is not dry but very juicy and insanely delicious. If you want to know how I made this, then keep watching. For this recipe, I'll be needing some fresh tilapia, Maggi cube seasoning, curry powder, thyme, anise seeds, ground white and black pepper, and then jangsa seeds. Jangsa is the secret key ingredient of this recipe. Some vegetable oil, fresh onion, ginger and garlic, green onion, cilantro, and habanero pepper, and then some plantains. Without further ado, let's get started. So first off, you want to start by placing fish in a clean large pan. I have four fresh tilapia fish pre-cleaned. I usually don't bring that dirt home and the scales and gills get cleaned at the seafood market. If you prefer to clean the fish by yourself, that's fine. You can start off by cleaning off the gills and the scales. The next thing you want to do is to blade the fish. I'm creating incisions of about an inch or less on each side of the fish. This step is very important because blading the fish permits the ingredients to fully penetrate into the fish and to make it tasty to the very core you can create about three or four incisions on each side it doesn't really matter and it depends on the size of the fish but usually you need about three incisions no need to do more than that so after you're done with the fish you want to leave this aside the next thing we're going to start doing is to prepare the pepper sauce i'm throwing in garlic ginger onions i have fresh cilantro green onions and hot pepper all of these are thoroughly washed already i already washed them and i'm throwing them into the blender now i'm going to grind them along with the jangsa and a little bit of water one thing you want to know about the jangsa seeds is they're pretty much hard so you want to blend for a while or at least until you ensure that it's very smooth Otherwise, the pepper becomes chunky and you don't want that, right? No, nobody wants chunky pepper. So there I am making sure that it's very smooth and I'm going to pour it into hot vegetable oil in a little casserole and I'll fry this for about 10 minutes, at least until it starts skipping. When it starts skipping, that way I'm sure that it's ready. So I'm just going to keep giving this a stir until it gets ready. So what I usually do is to separate the pepper sauce into two. The first portion I'm going to use to garnish or to spice the fish. And the second portion I'm just going to add some maggi and that's it. It's good to go. So here I'm adding some magic cube seasonings. And then I'm going to add in all the dry ingredients. The white pepper, black pepper, curry powder, thyme, anise seeds and give this a real good mix i'm going to add in some vegetable oil vegetable oil is very important it makes the fish stay greased and it doesn't stick this sauce is very concentrated and we're going to use it to marinate the fish we're going i'm adding a little bit more oil because it has to stay really moist and it needs oil don't economize on the oil just pour enough so I'm placing the fish on a baking tray that I've covered with non-stick foil paper and as you can see I'm applying the pepper sauce with a brush to the incisions that I made. I'm opening the belly of the fish, the head. I love eating fish brain. I don't know who else does but I that's my favorite part, the brain. <laughs> so I'm putting in the pepper making sure that I apply this in all the incisions and every opening that will ensure that the fish is very tasty to the core and I'm doing the same process for all the four fishes meanwhile the oven is already set to 350 degrees and it's going to get hotter and it's gonna be like 400 degrees honestly so my oven is already hot what I'm going to do is the first 20 minutes I'm going to 
put the fish in the oven and then when it's getting ready or when it's ready in order to give it that grilled feel i'm going to change the settings from bake to brew i don't know if your oven has the brew if your oven doesn't then you can continue baking until the fish becomes golden brown but if it does then you want to bake this first for about 20 minutes and then when it's ready you want to brew it for about five minutes it depends on the settings it depends on the temperature you're using but the technique that i use to make sure that the fish is very moist and very juicy is to bake on one side for about 20 minutes or 25 minutes like i said it depends on the temperature so while that is baking i'm going to fry the plantains i peeled them and sliced them in the shape that i desire and i'm going to fry them in some vegetable oil the fish and pepper sauce are going to go aside with the plantains usually in cameroon we use bobolo or miondo anything you want basically you can eat it with anything you want i'm a plantain lover so i'm having this with some plantains after about 23 to 25 minutes my fish is done and now it's time to brew it and while it's brewing i'm going to start frying my ripe plantains i put them in some oil vegetable oil and that's it guys my fish is ready look how juicy it is it's soft thoroughly cooked it smells amazing i'm not even exaggerating guys it smells really good i'm going to dive into this and i'm having some pamplemousse when we're in college we used to call it like coca fish pample fish chicken coke whatever <laughs> so i'm going to enjoy this with my pamplemousse it's dead cold mm, this tastes so good look at that look how juicy sticking some pepper put in some lime a little bit of dodo ah my goodness i love food i love seafood i love grilled fish okay this is like my favorite meal ever and i promise this is delicious it's insanely delicious you should try this at home do it for your friends your family you've got this thank you for watching and until next time thank you for cooking with baby d bye